It's early morning in the Presidio, and Jonathan Young is looking for coyotes. And you can listen to the volume and intensity of the ping, and it kind of guides us where it's coming from. Young is tracking them for Presidio Trust, a government agency hoping to learn more about their behavior. Coyotes in San Francisco is it's an incredibly politically sensitive topic. They're here to stay, and there's real and perceived conflict between coyotes and people and dogs, and my job is to reduce those conflicts. The first coyotes were spotted here in the early 2000s. Genetic data suggests some may have come across the Golden Gate Bridge, but they don't just live in the Presidio. An estimated 50 to 100 coyotes live all across the city, from Coit Tower to Bernal Heights. As far as we know, all the parks that can support coyotes in San Francisco are currently supporting coyotes. Spatially, they're not really restricted as far as moving through these urban areas. You know, they're, they're using the sidewalks and streets. Young tracks the animals through GPS collars. He hopes his research will help clear up misconceptions about the coyote population in San Francisco. Urban people have never even seen a coyote. And then they see one and they think it's a vicious, rabid wolf trying to hunt them and kill them. Statistics show that urban coyotes aren't a threat to humans. So what's the problem? Is it the coyotes themselves? Or is it the people who interact with them? San Francisco Animal Care and Control often receives complaints about coyotes. But there have been no recorded instances of bites or rabies here. I don't think the coyotes themselves are, are a problem. They're just being coyotes. We as people have to adjust to them and we have to respond differently. In some parks, like Bernal Heights, coyotes have become a familiar sight. Problems arise when people feed coyotes or let their dogs off leash around them. Donahue believes if humans are better informed, they can peacefully coexist with coyotes. The next step for coyotes here is continuing public education. We can all live quite safely together um, if humans take um, some common sense precautions. It appears coyotes are here to stay, if we'll have them. Well, these animals aren't going anywhere, so we need to better manage the situation. And really what it boils down to is managing people more than managing coyotes. This is Max Brimelow reporting from San Francisco.